Well, good morning, folks, and to all of my American friends, I want to take this moment to wish you a happy Independence Day. Stay tuned. So it has been a busy week here on the car lot, and I just wanted to give you a quick little update to show you what's been going on. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video just because I haven't had time uh, to put much together for you. So uh, before we get into the lot update, I wanna talk a little bit about Dale. Uh, so you guys all know that we've got the uh, carburetor on it. We've got the new engine and transmission built. I've been driving it for quite a while now, and everything seems to be working good except I, I'm still having troubles with this carburetor. Now remember, this is the old carb that we took off of my 79 Chrysler Cordoba, and when it was on the Cordoba, it wasn't working great either. It seemed to bog a bit. Um, I took it all apart. I cleaned all the crap out of it. Maybe that's what I need to do with this one again. But it's got me so frustrated that, well, yes, I've been pricing up this. And by pricing that up, that means it might be a project for Old Dale here in the very near future. Uh, I've never done it. I've read lots on it. I've watched lots of videos. And a buddy of mine has even installed it uh, on his Camaro. And I'm going to go talk to him about it. And maybe I'll take you guys up and show you his Camaro. And uh, so you can see what the whole system is. And I know that you guys have seen it before. So I've also put some uh, feelers out there to Holly as well as Fitech to see if they might help me out uh, and maybe sponsor the video in some fashion with a partial payment and some advertising. We don't know that yet, but I've reached out. So that will be something that's coming up on the channel in the very near future, I think. Not exactly sure when, but I do know that um, I'm very, very quickly losing faith in carburetors. So it's time to uh, maybe upgrade and start looking at some other options. Having said that, let's get into the update. On the lot, I want to show you that the remaining two old stock vehicles that we have are the Mazda CX-5 and the Fiat 500L. We did end up sending the Ford Taurus off to the auction and we sold that. Uh, we did lose a little bit of money on it just because we had it for a while. And you know, the market, the value changes on those vehicles. So that's why when we do appraisals for our customers, uh, we hold that price uh, for 30 days because after 30 days the value the market can change price can go down quite a bit so anyways yes we've got uh, just the two vehicles left we've had a busy a week or so here let me show you some of the new vehicles that we've got uh, on the lot some are trade-ins some we actually bought let's take a look so the 2014 Kia Sorento that sat there is now gone and we took the 2010 Hyundai Santa Fe on trade now this is a limited and it's the V6 all-wheel drive. What a really nice vehicle this one is. A buddy of mine, Steve, I believe he watches this channel. He better. Called me up oh, about a month and a half, two months ago, told me his old 2004, I believe it is, Toyota Matrix uh, will not pass inspection comes uh, the end of July. He wanted another one, so I found one. This one is a gem, a 2012. Look at the color, look at the condition it's in, 90. 3,000 kilometers. That's less than 60,000 miles on this car, guys. So uh, he's coming down tomorrow on Saturday from Mill Cove, New Brunswick, which is about a two hour drive from here. This will be the third purchase that he's bought, uh, the fifth one uh, in his family. And then we've got a couple of Elantras. We haven't had Elantras on the lot. We bought one last week. It's sitting out front all ready to roll. Uh, we bought this one this week this one is a trade-in. We took this on trade for the 2015 Hyundai Tucson. And once again, this is my buddy Jeremy, and this would be the third vehicle, the third Hyundai uh, that Jeremy has bought from me. Uh, the first one was a Santa Fe. This was his second. Now he's driving the Tucson. Very happy. He's uh, upgraded into something with air conditioning and cruise control. This car is just base, about as base as you can get. Then we've got the 2012 Chevy Malibu. These are pretty good sellers for us. Uh, we brought this one in, had four studded snow tires on it in, in June or July. Uh, so we put four new tires. It's got brakes all the way around. Really good shape. So this one should be hitting the lot by the end of the day. And then there was the caravan. 
So the caravan that you see behind me was something that I bought on a whim. Back in the early spring, we sold what we classify as our auction van. It was the 06 Toyota Sienna, and it had, you know, 300 and, I don't know, it was 30 or 40,000 kilometers on it, which is no big deal. We know they'll go over 600 because that's what we did on mine. But we needed a new auction van. So something, if we went and we bought some vehicles at the auction, we could send a van load of guys up, drivers, to pick those up. Uh, we didn't have anything any more capable than holding five people. This is a seven passenger. This is a 2013. It's got 250,000 kilometers on it. And it was a pig. And, well, it had that engine tap. And it was declared that it had that engine tap. And guys, we know what that engine tap is. And that is the rocker arms on those 3.6s apparently are common for failure. We've replaced several of them uh, in the past. But nevertheless, it's a quick, easy, and cheap repair on the top end of these motors. So this is just an SE, so it's got the hubcaps, it doesn't have any fog lights, it does not have stow and go seats, so it's just got the bench seat in the middle, and these side windows do not roll down. On the SXT and up, they do, but this one, it does not. This thing was a filthy pig. It was a bad example of a smoker vehicle. So much so that you can probably still see the staining on this uh, on this hand pole right here. Uh, it's it's pretty yellow, and I think that's the way it's going to be. We're not going to be able to change the color, uh, but we did degrease and de-smoke everything. The headliner came out really well. I wish I could have gotten some uh, footage of this thing before we cleaned it. Nevertheless, uh, by the looks of things, it will be ready possibly uh, to use and make use of uh, hopefully by the end of the day. It's coming very, very close to completion. This will not hit the lot. This is simply something that we bought uh, on speculation that uh, we just needed something to use to go back and forth to the auction with and uh, it's gonna do the trick for us. So uh, mechanically it was good, except for that rocker. We did get that fixed. We did the oil change. We checked all the brakes. It's got four good tires on it. Uh, so we should just be able to start driving it. Uh, again, this is not something that's going to be hitting the lot. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget that this coming Thursday is the Season 4 premiere of the Car Guy and Six Fan Show with my buddy Grant Tommy. Uh, we've got a full range of guests lined up for Season 4, and we've got some legacy episodes where we're going to be doing some more fun uh, games like we did in Season 3. Uh, so I hope that you guys can join us. It'll be on my channel for the season premiere and then we alternate each week between myself and Grant Tommy and I hope you guys can join us. The show starts at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern and 9 Atlantic time and it goes for about 30-40 minutes and we have fun. Just a bunch of car guys talking cars. I want to see you guys there and be in the comments and let us know uh, what you're thinking and what you want to see for season 4. Uh, put your comments down below and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. Having said all that, I'm still calling for the Submit Your Ride Challenge. I'd like to put a video together of your guys' ride. Put it in a two minute video, email it to me. My email information is down below and I will feature it in an upcoming episode of Old Car Guy. Other than that, I've got nothing for you. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I hope you have a safe and celebratory 4th of July. We will catch you guys in the next video. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless.